let's take a look at how to include signature in Gmail. So if you're writing a message, we're composing a new email, and we want to include the signature, in the lower right we'll see this little pin icon which says we can insert a signature. So if we were in the body of the message writing something, we can insert the signature there. Now if you have signatures already, you can select from them here, and you can actually have multiple signatures. But if you don't, then you'll have to go to Manage Signatures. So this will take you to your Gmail settings. And inside of your Gmail settings, if we minimize this new message really quick, it takes you to your general settings. So we're going to scroll down until we find our signature area, which is most of the way down the page, actually right about here toward the bottom. Now, in this signature area, we don't have the signature right now, so we'd have to create a new one. We can click Create New and give this signature a name. So maybe this is just a personal signature, not a work signature. We could create this one. And then over here in this box, we can type in whatever we want into our signature. We can bold words, uh, make them larger or smaller, and really kind of design the signature as you want it. You can also add imagery and links to words. And so uh, I'm just going to put a hyphen with my name. That'll be my signature. Uh, and you can also design signatures in other programs like Google Docs, for instance. So you can make it look a little bit better. Like if you want the signature that's, uh, you know, side by side with an image and then name and everything. And then you can just copy paste that here into your signature, even if it's made from a table, for instance. Now, once you have that signature, you need to assign it to which email addresses. If you have multiple on one account, I'll just keep it on this first one. It's right now not included automatically. So if you want to, you can include it automatically on new emails as well as replies or forwards, uh, replies or forwarded emails. And so we could include that on both of those. And then the last option is just to insert the signature before any quoted text and replies uh, to remove this little line. And so you can select that or not to put that signature above or below replies when you're replying. And at the very bottom, we probably need to click Save Changes after we've uh, actually created a signature. So now back on our message, if we were to click Insert Signature, we might need to refresh the page really quick so we actually have that signature to apply. And so you can see here, that since we said the signature will be automatically put into any new message, that signature is already put in here. And if you wanted to change the signature, you can click here and just select the different signature that you want that you've created or even no signature, just like that. And so pretty easy to select a signature and insert or include signature in Gmail.